Thursday, September 3, 2005. These are around four to five months old terrapins. And as you can see, this one is much smaller than the other one. And it's got white spots on the shell. As compared to this this one. This one is much bigger. It is about 15 to 20 pellets per 24 hours. This one is about uh, or it's fed. It's fed about uh, two to four pellets per 24 hours. Uh, you can see both have ear abscesses. Both came in for ear abscesses. This one just came in today because the young lady owner discovered it overnight yesterday. So you see the abscess is very small. And she discovered that this therapy is not so active and hides under the water for the last two days. Now, this therapy is fed 15 to 20 pellets a day as compared to this one from another owner, this from another owner. This is a fed probably two to four pellets a day. So the size, as you can see, is much bigger on this one. And uh, the shell quality is much better. And the initial white spots, according to the lady owner, has uh, gone, has disappeared. Whether this one, you can see there's a lot of a lot of uh, white shell spots, indicative of, of fungal infection. Now, this one has been given basking area and in an ultraviolet light. You can see this one is really very uh, healthy in, in the shell. It's hard shell and the color is good. According to the owner, the, the pellets are of two types. One is red and one is green. And uh, the two terrapins she has, the other one is one and a half times bigger uh, and of the same age and then this one. The other one eat about 30 pellets a day as compared to this one eating 15 to 20. So they become very juicy on the type of pellets. They won't eat the green ones. They eat the, No, they won't eat the red ones, but they will eat the green ones and they must be fresh in the water before it dissolves. Once, once it dissolves, they won't touch it. So this will be a case of uh, pampering in the sense that the terrapins become very fussy because they're fed four times a day. And uh, so the water must have been, although it's changed twice a day, there might be sometimes that the water is very dirty because they will pass more motion as they eat more. And uh, two, two of them being fed four times a day in a tank, which is about this size, about one and a half feet, would have uh, been uh, living in water, submerged in water, with a lot of stools and food leftovers. So I advise the owner to feed separately in a tank before putting them into the aquarium and feed twice a day and uh, give a variety of food like shrimps, fish meat, prawn meat pieces and maybe healthy small fishes since in the new aquarium we filter in ultraviolet light the terrapins will need to be in a good filtered water area but as you can see even from here from two different owners at about the same age that uh, the quality of the shell definitely is much better here there are no white spots and this one there are white spots all over you can see from here that uh, they are most likely fungal infections. Both of them have ear, ear abscesses. This one has two. Lance yesterday, 
This one we lunch today and we put it in for three, two days to make sure that the abscesses are cleared properly. Otherwise, they will recur. And uh, in this case, the owner noticed early on the right ear there's a small abscess and that the terrapin has become less active and lost appetite due to the pain in the ear. She has done the research on the internet and knew this was an ear abscess. So she brought the terrapin here for treatment. Similarly, this owner, he knows that there are ear abscesses, but these are bigger ones. Dwapaya vets, therapy ear abscesses. September 3, 2, 0, 1, 5.